Hello students, we're going to do this blood typing procedure for the lab, the chromosomal genetics lab, lab 6. Um, and we're going to do the procedures right now together, and then you can interpret the results for your lab report. So here is our experimental setup. We have one well plate for patient A, one well plate for patient B, or excuse me, patient 1 and patient 2, and then we have a place for a, B, A, B for each patient, okay? And now I've taken the sample of blood and I've dropped it in there. Okay, you can see it's shiny. There's no, it's a homogeneous mixture. There's no um, clumping going on, okay? So now I'm going to take the anti-A serum and I'm going to put it in the A plates for both the patient one, and for patient two. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the same thing with the B serum in well B for patient one, and in well B for patient two. Okay, now I'll take a little Q-tip, and I'll mix it all around. Okay, I'm gonna flip my Q-tip over so I don't put one kind of blood in with another. New one here, flip it over. All right, so now let's just wait a few minutes and see if we see any um, coagulation, any clumping inside of the once homogeneous mixture. Okay, so now we've waited about five minutes and we're going to take a look. So let's first look at patient A, okay? And here are the results. And hopefully you took a moment to reread the lab. Remember that we put anti A in well plate A for each patient, okay? And anti B in well plate B for each patient. So those are the results. You interpret them. If you look really carefully, think about their consistency. Okay, and now in patient two, we did the same thing. The only difference here is there's a different kind of blood. But anti A and well plate A and anti B and well plate B. And there are the results. So you can interpret the results to complete your lab report. Let me know if you have any questions.